Hi guys, today I will talk to you about the new addition promos for the Seven Wonders. There is currently four of them and we will go through them one by one. I will tell you about the power level of them, how powerful they are, and also how much fun they will bring you when you add it to your game. Stick around! A disclaimer that I have to make uh, before I talk about the guilds uh, especially is that guilds are very tricky cards to add to the game. Uh, because um, they change the whole like strategic thing and and the whole pool. Like it matters a lot in some situations what guilds are in the game, especially at lower player counts. So by just adding some guilds, you will uh, manipulate the percentages of, for example, scientist guilds uh, being in the game or the philosophers guild being in the game. Those are the two big ones. Uh, the builders is probably the next one. Another thing is that the guilds are not supposed to be uh, always good scoring cards. Uh, this is not what the guilds ever meant to be. And that's why, you know, the builders and the decorators are especially like um, fragile guilds. I personally um, don't mind more guilds being just, you know, point scoring. But they always have to have some kind of condition. They cannot always be just, you know, just points. I think uh, some of the guilds that we've had in the past, especially like the, goal, the guilds that just give you points, were not that well received. Our first promo that we will talk about is the Guild of Architects or Architects Guild. You can see it on the screen. And uh, this is... This is something that we've seen before in the old edition. I think it's a fine one. It's a pretty costly with the free ore. That's what's a little bit prohibitive. There is also two refined resources with press and cloth. That's quite a lot, but it can be uh, sometimes, you know, very powerful if your direct neighbor is going through uh, purple strategy. This will probably be better in higher player counts and it will be like the, the cost, the, the opportunity cost for it will change a lot. As far as power level goes, I would rate it two stars. It's not like super great, but it sometimes can be useful. As far as the fun factor, I would say three stars just there in the middle. Uh, it, it's okay. Like th this is something that you can add. Uh, but this is something that you can also leave out. Uh, I wouldn't like go away and search for this. I don't think this will make the game much, much better for anyone. But if you have an opportunity to grab it, or you just got it from your uh, store when you ordered Seven Wonders, I think you'll be fine playing with that. The next one that we'll talk about is the Gamers Guild. So that's our guild, I guess. Um, at the end of the game, gain one victory point for every three coins in your neighbor's treasures. Uh, so that's a weird one. I, when I f first seen it, guys, I thought it was the old guild, uh, the old bunkers guild. Uh, but it's actually something entirely new. I'm really glad that they limited the maximum amount of victory points to 10. Uh, that's what's saving this card, because without it, this card, I would have to tell you to either burn it, throw it away, or just rip it to shreds. Because without this condition, it doesn't work. But uh, there is a problem with this condition. Uh, it's nowhere on the card. You have to look in the uh, in the in the rules to, to get it. So that's quite inconvenient. And I think that can pose a lot of problems to new players because you will just you know you either has to explain the whole card. Or you, you know, you have to you know, be careful. Remember, if there is this guild, it has max of ten points. Ten points that they first introduced in the Armada expansion. I think it's generally a good rule for the the guilds. I was kind of hoping they they would add it in the second edition of the game, but they didn't. So they have to uh, use tricks like that to keep some of the cards in check. I think. Um, as far as the power level go, I think it's a pretty good one. Um, so I, I think I would rate it like four stars. And as far as the fun go, I would also rate it four stars. I haven't played with it, obviously, because I, I couldn't get the promos. And it's very hard to play in person. And the promos are nowhere to play online. There is no way to play them online 
right now. Uh, but I think it, this one is pretty fun. This win, one I'm really curious about and I would just to have to wait and see if I play it. I might update this video in the future. And the last guild that we will look at today is the Shadow Guild. We've seen that in the past. Um, like I, I've already spoken about it in some of the, my other videos. I'm not a fan. Black cards are generally not that great, especially if you add some expansion. Like they are good, but for example, with Armada, they lose quite a bit. And um, you know, some of them, when you just add the pool of the anniversary cards that added, uh, that's added automatically in the new edition, I think it dilutes the pool and. Um, they're just not that popular and not a lot of people are just going for the black cards because they have um, no synergy or even they have counter synergy with some of uh, them. So I really struggle to see where this card would score a lot of points. I think this would generally be like four pointer, maybe five pointer and five point is quite okay. Uh, but other than that, this is a pretty weak one. Uh, I would rate power level as one star and I would rate the fun level as one star as well. I don't think that you should add this in the pool um, unless I'm proven wrong in the future by, by seeing how how great the new black cards are. Um, I think I would just, if, even if I would get it, I would probably leave it out. And for the last card that we will take a look today, uh, this is Cedric and Thomas, so people who are uh, working for the uh, repos, uh, they, I don't know if they, or like, um, or the author Antoine Bauza designed this card. Mm, it has like, basically the, the effect is that you double the fights for everyone, or you, or, or there is no fighting for everyone at the end of the age. The big one here is that you decide at the end of the age. So you play it at the start of the age and you will play this age free almost all the time. And then by the end of age free, you decide are there fights or and they are doubled or there is no fighting. So I don't know what they were thinking. Like when I saw this card, I was like, what? Really? How can you print something like this? And how can you make it so powerful? I think uh, this card could cost 10 and it would still be okay. And it sometimes still would be played uh, at least like six or seven. But let me know in the comments uh, how much should it cost to be balanced. Uh, this, is, this is a hard one. So I would really like to, to, to see your arguments and see your ideas. My first idea to solve this card, because let's say you, you got this card in your package and you want to play with that, why wouldn't you? Because, you know, uh, this is something that they did, you, know, you should be able to play with that. My first idea to solve this without any, you know, patches, without any um, stickers, is that you decide at the start of the age. You play it, you see all the leaders, and then you decide. Uh, that's making it a little bit more balanced. Uh, currently. Uh, this card is good for everyone. If you are playing red, this card is excellent. You will double your red. What better way to score points than doubling your red for free gold or six gold? Because you know every leader has an opportunity cost of being discarded. Uh, for green, if you are just going full green, this is an excellent card because you can stop them from getting points from red. Uh, this is this might be even better for for green. Like if you are a pacifist player. Uh, this card is insane. I think this card um, shouldn't be printed in this way. Uh, so for power level, of course, it gets five stars. For uh, the fun, uh, it gets uh, one star. Because I do not think you will have much fun when your opponents will play this. And I don't think you will play. Uh, um, like you will have fun playing this as well, because it might just be too easy. How to break Cedric and Thomas, because that's a card, that's a combo card, if I've ever seen one. Uh, but it's quite easily, um, stupidly broken, uh, if you just use some other leaders.
and that will be it for today. Uh, please let me know which um, promos you've already played with. How was your experience? I'm really curious because I was stuck not playing with promos uh, for a while and I will be for the foreseeable future. Uh, but uh, we have a great community, so I'm really curious to hear your opinions. And until later, see you. Bye. Mm -hmm.